All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Everyman crossword. One across polar animal's stomach. Just looking to see if it could be a hidden clue. I don't think so. Guts. Um, no, nothing coming to me. Uh, performing culinary operation on foolishly rock pigeon. A rock pigeon has 10 letters and it also has ing in it. Let me put in ing and then try the anagram helper and see if it gives us anything. The ck have to go together, right? Ooh, cookering, p cookering. Uh, her cooking, rep cooking. Is there something called per cooking? I know there's par boiling. Uh, pork echoing. Yeah, I wonder if per cooking is something. Let me pause and uh, look that up. <laughs> well, I googled uh, per cooking, but it uh, said, oh, do you mean pre-cooking? Which, of course, that's it. Oh, my goodness, why didn't I uh, spot that? Pre-cooking is a culinary operation, I suppose. That's good. Gives us some nice starting letters. Uh, region including villas in exclusive resort areas primarily, okay. Uh, Riviera are the starting letters of all of those words, which is the definition as well as providing the letters. Blearily recalls wine in large amounts. I'm thinking... Literally might be the definition, and a wine backwards in a, inside of a word for large amounts. No, not seeing it. Ministry of Defense to get non-clerical if foreign office to retire bureaucrats well bureaucrats and the o makes me wonder if officialdom um is that the right number of yes so i see the definition bureaucrats um Foreign office, I think, is F-O, and here it's reversed. And now the, oh, and there's the Ministry of Defense backwards. Ah, to get non-clerical. I think L, you know, obviously laicize. Is there a word laic to mean not a member of the clergy. I mean, we would just normally say lay, L-A-Y, but maybe laic, cleric. Ooh, so yeah, maybe a, a laic is the equivalent of a cleric. And then if is just if, and it's all reverse. So all of this is to re be reversed. All right, every man, who of course sets the crossword, is to receive visitor finally one bearing large showy flowers well I wonder could it be Iris every man and is and that receives the last letter of visitor it seems to fit the wordplay. 
I presume irises of large showy anyway Celts outburst can be heard I'm wondering if it's Gale which sounds like G A L E is that an outburst a gale I mean, maybe metaphorically, a gale of wind could be seen as an outburst. Um, let's see if that's going to go along with eggs and lice covering rancid president's workplace. Well, with those letters, that has to be the Oval Office. Uh, eggs are over. And then we have lice, which covers off, meaning rancid. So I think Gale must be right. Now, does that help blearily? Or could it be large amounts? No, not getting that. Uh, let me look at one down. Dilapidated sideboards getting batterings uh, sideboards has 10 letters so could that be an anagram ah well actually there's an anagram that doesn't change a lot of the the letters in their order broadsides I don't like it when an anagram is too close to the way the letters are presented, but um, I mean, it is, I suppose, interesting that sideboards and broadsides are anagrams. Oh, this has to be bear. Polar animal is a bear, and to bear something is to stomach it. So, hardware flying around. So this seems like another an a ten letter anagram um, of so hardware, and I presume it's an and lit that this will also be some kind of arrow something or other. Uh, let me try and get some more letters before I try anagramming that. Nothing is coming to me. Ooh, it could be something wards, like uh, skywards or something. In conversation, much time shared by you and me in conversation oh so maybe this is a homophone oh yes so hours is much time sounds like shared by you and me hours um well maybe it is arrow but i'm not seeing what that could be. Let's try 11 first. Cheers, that man. Earlier sad. Starting to brood. Uh, starting to brood would be a B. Which then means the, <coughs> excuse me, the definition would be cheers. No, maybe it is starting to brood. Something like draw the, deck the, down the, down the hatch. Yeah, so it is, oh, okay. <laughs> it is cheers, down the hatch. Something you say when you're uh, drinking with someone, down the hatch. So, that man is he, 
earlier said is down comes earlier. Starting to, well, brood, I suppose, could be hatch. Um, I'm not sure where that T comes from, though. Cheers. That man. Can T simply be that? Uh, possibly. Ooh, um, how about arrow? Arrow something or rather. Let's uh, try the anagram helper now. Arrowheads, yep. Okay. I was too lazy to work out the leftover letters. Sluggishness, batting, time to win it back. Ah. Sluggishness, uh, something like lethargy or batting. No, not uh, getting that one at all. Dogs cross. That is a little labradoodle. Oh. A little... <laughs> no, I'm intrigued by it, but I don't get it. Unbroken, like a Manx cat. Well, Manx cats don't have tails, right? Isn't that their claim to fame? So, unbroken, unbroken, N, N, oh, so maybe like, end, the end of the cats is plain or bare or unbroken, endured. No, not getting it. Colloquially, largest, most like the ocean. Uh, most like the ocean. No. Some sets of twins resemble each other. No, it suddenly it started off Pretty easy, I think, but now it's suddenly stepped up a gear. Trade ideas, wild, wishes. So I think it's trade ideas, yet another 10-letter anagram. It, is, it goes wild, and the whole thing means wishes. Um, I don't know. Hopefully it's not going to be some form of ID8s or something. Illegally assist a venture. Ah, so I think to illegally assist somebody is to abet them. Aiding and abetting and a venture a bet. Flights, ah, that may lead to landings. Reminds me of the old joke about a uh, plane crashed into my upstairs. Well, it was my fault. I left the landing light on. I think it might be stair cases, flights of stairs, lead up to the landing. Uh, having an S, poems. Praising systems of regulation not started. Uh, well, odes is the obvious poem, poems, uh, and a system of re laws or regulations is a code without the C. So now this begins with a D. I think I'll try and get some other letters. Accept only part of repurchase agreement being in the black, question mark. Well, 
if this is a hidden clue that ends in A, it could be R-C-H-A, but I think it's a C. Now, how is that being? I think maybe they're referring to the Black Sea, which is why it's capitalized, as opposed to financially being in the black. So uh, let's try and get another one. 18 ends in another one ending in A. I will be found in Balkan state, bold to move, to find unwelcoming place. Um, I presume it's going to be an unwelcoming place, but we're going to have to have a short Balkan state with bold, I think maybe can be simply B. Bold to move. Um, ah, yes, yeah, so Serbia I was thinking of, and it's not a complete anagram. I think we just move the B, and then we add an I. So the B moves up, and then the remaining letters of Serbia are in the same place, and we get Siberia. Um, let's try this 12 down. Champion with spine, usually. I presume it's going to mean usually. And somehow it's made up from words for champion and spine. Spine can be courage or nerve. No. Oh, but I did get, um, just get glanced over at this one and thought of the word endless. And I suppose a, um, a view could have endless fields, for example, unbroken. And the cats without their tail. Well, I think they still have ends, but anyway, I, I see what they're talking about. How about this one now? Well, no, Iberia. No, that doesn't fit. Usually. No, oh, uh, 20 has that B now. Some sets of twins resemble each other. Yeah, resemble. I mean, I don't think it's it's an anagram, even though we have the M and the B. Uh, there's nothing to indicate an anagram, I think. Note twice. Establishment for racehorses where multiplication is demanded. Well, uh, a stud, I suppose is an establishment for racehorses or, uh, <coughs> or something um, I wonder if it could be times table where we have stable um, I don't know about the definition a times table, I suppose, yeah, when you had to fill it in in school and the multiplication was demanded. But I also think of it as the reference we would use to see what the multiplication result was. But then how do we get, let's see, so that's the establishment for racehorses. Now we need note twice is somehow time. Oh, yeah, uh, do, re, mi, and ti. So there are two notes. All right. 
Uh, let's try hot drinks or dry Rieslings. Four, six. Hot drinks. Ooh, um, yes, so very popular way to order coffee in uh, Britain and Ireland, the flat white. I don't, I don't often see it in the US. And so that is the hot drink, but then dry is flat and Rieslings are whites, I presume. I'm not a wine expert. Step back, seeing Afghans, Abyssinians, etc. Oh, that's clever because, of course, those are, apart from nationalities, also dogs and cats, right? So they're pets, which is step backwards. Ooh, so now 20. Ah, so it's a something match. Some sets of twins resemble each other. Something match. Um, no, but I think it has to be match. Can't think of anything else that could be. Now, colloquially largest, mo most like the ocean, so it's an EST, the uh, baddest, the, uh, um, I presume it's going to be a pun on some ocean, or maybe just a, a term for the ocean, the main, the, the, uh, the deep, the, uh, No, not, not saying that. Oh, I haven't looked at this one. Well-earned rest, leisurely, accepting support. Now, why is it spelt earned? Leisurely, is that a, an anagram indicator? I don't think so. Oh, well, maybe it's a hidden clue. Trestle. Yeah, so um, well earned. So that's why the T is there. Okay, so colloquially largest. Is it two Ds? Is it DI? Oh, can't think of, uh, let me pause and sip my water and think about that. Oh, well, as I sipped, I thought, well, actually, tidiest, it would be like an ocean having tides, I suppose. And a tidy sum is a large sum, so I can see that. Now, oh, how about this? Some sets of twins. Is it going to be B B E R B L E D? No, uh, but I think I now have enough letters to try the anagram helper trade ideas. Oh, desiderata. Yeah. It was the name of that poem that was, am I, I may be misremembering, put to music desiderata. I'm going to pause and look that up and uh, just confirm that's right. Yes, it is desiderata, which is the Latin for things desired, so uh, wishes. And it's a 1927 prose poem by the American writer Max Ehrman. And sure enough, in 1971, Les Crane 
used it on his album. He thought it would be out of copyright, but uh, turns out he was wrong. And so um, Ehrman, I don't know if he was still alive, but he did um, get royalties or his estate did. All right. Uh, champion with spine usually. Ooh, um, of course a book can have a spine. Champion. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something like bestseller or... No, let me go back up to the top. Blearily recalls wine in large amounts. Clearly. No, about this dog's cross, that is a little. Well, a little could be a L. Of course, that is could be I E. But I am thinking of coaxial, but, um, and so the cross would be the X, and then AL, but, uh, dogs. But could five down end in C? Glearily, an AIC word. Wow. Tricky. Uh, sluggishness, batting. I mean, it's funny thinking of baseball, a slugger, bats, uh, but sluggishness, batting, time to win it, win it back. Time could be a T, we might have it backwards. Oh, inertia, just thinking of TIA at the end. So that is definitely sluggishness. All right. Time to win it back. Um, batting. Batting, I think, is also, isn't it like when you put some hard lining in some fabric, maybe in curtains, they have batting. Um, A-I-T-R-E. No, I'm... I don't see the batting part. I N E R A, and it wins it backwards. No, I'm fairly sure though. Ah, so now this, I presume, a champion would be a title holder. Ah, a champion. I pre I think it may be just a play on a champion is a title holder, but the spine of a book holds the titles. That is very tricky. And now, of course, some sets can be part of a doubles match. 
and uh, so not exactly sure how to read this some sets i think it's just doubles match and twins resemble each other doubles match hmm not sure about that how do you put in coaxial here and see if um, dogs can that be something to do with coaxial um, let me see if I can work out then what five down would be uh, no, it's not ending in C. It's the definition, funnily enough, is wine in large amounts, which could be sellers of wine. So now let's take a look at uh, this one. Dogs are spaniel, I suppose. Ah, yeah, to cross is to span that is is ie and i suppose a little labradoodle is just maybe saying take the l from labradoodle um that's that seems maybe that labradoodle wasn't needed because little could also be just the l i think anyway um course we can't uh, check our answers here but I'm fairly confident but if you spot one that I got wrong uh, and of course I won't publish this until next week so I'll put in the comments if uh, I realize that I got something wrong all right thank you for watching and have a great day